about 6 a.m. Taking the day off with some breakfast. Uh, just three whole eggs and some oatmeal. what's going on first things first subscribe to the fucking channel fuck you if you haven't already uh next thing leave a like let me know what you want to see in the next video share this video with a friend or multiple friends and put a fucking comment in or you know share it on your social media i don't give a fuck but we're trying to take this channel to the top so let's do something about it but, uh, you know, it's 10.50 at night. As you can tell, I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. I've been training people since 7 a.m. And, you know, I got a nice workout in in the middle of the day. And I'm not going to lie. This was, this was just, I don't know. You know, I was pissed off for this workout. Uh... And that aggression, you know, I just used that that anger, that aggression to fuel this workout, basically. I went heavy as fuck on the decline press, uh, doing sets of three. I think I got up to, like, 250. But, um, yeah, basically just used that aggression to follow me through this workout. And uh, pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips. Uh, you know, been feeling good as fuck. Uh, but... You know, halfway through this workout, my guy came through and did some film work for me. So, the footage in the second half of this video is a little bit better. But uh, let me know what you think about the editing I did. Because I put, like, some fades on some of these videos. So, let me know if you think that's just more aesthetically pleasing to your eyes while you're watching this. But, shit, back to the point. Um... I don't know. I just went fucking crazy on this workout. I didn't want to hold back. I was pissed off as fuck and just shit has been bothering me. And that's why I'm wearing the hoodie. You know, I had the hoodie up uh, just because I don't even want to fucking look at anyone. I just want to be focused and locked in. And I just want to take all that aggression out on the weights because I don't want to take it out on anybody else or... You know, God forbid on my fucking self. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. And um, right shoulder is a little bit fucked up. But um, it's been bothering me for about a month now. The horizontal presses are not really bothering it. It's more so the vertical stuff. But it's just really not getting better. So I'm kind of concerned about that. But fuck it, man. Uh, you know, some shit is always going to be bothered. I've kind of just accepted that. And, um, yeah, fuck it. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so I basically was just pissed off about some shit going into this workout, and that's what really fueled this. So, this workout went on for over three hours, and you know, I like to just channel that anger. When I do have it into the fucking weights because I feel like that's a productive way of using it. Um, rather than taking it out on somebody or myself, you know, this this is what I like to do. I feel like I gotta take it out in some way. 
and maybe this isn't the best long-term solution but you know at the end of the day <laughs> i'm gonna look up a couple years from now and be like shit i may have been fucked in the head for a long time but i'm jacked as fuck so the price is eventually gonna pay off and um uh, shit that just kind of reminded me that I've been seeing a lot of stuff on social media talking about it's men's mental health month what the fuck I thought it was men's mental health month like three fucking months ago when I made that video of me screaming at the at the fucking uh, camera it's fucking men's mental health month again so, you know, I, I'm fucking sick of this shit because all these people are on here talking about, you know, speak up. You don't have to man up. It'll have like it'll say man up on it with a cross through it. And then it says speak up like fuck you. Fuck you. All this shit is not factual. And let me tell you why. People who are saying speak up don't even realize that there are other people in their life with mental health issues that they could have reached out to and that probably have tried to speak up to them, but they didn't want to fucking hear it because people don't even really know. People don't even fucking recognize mental health issues in other people in their life. It's dumb as fuck. And then you're going to talk about speak up. Fuck you. People just like the concept of helping people with mental health. But they don't actually want to fucking help people with mental health issues. Mental health is, is something way different than these people think it is. Because mental health is something that gets fucking ugly. It's something that's going to mental health issues are something that's going to push people out of your life. It's going to make other people not want to be around you. And that's why these people put in these stupid fucking posts on Instagram. That's what this, this is what they don't realize that the people who ha actually have mental health issues, they just think are fucking assholes because they can't even fucking recognize it. So this is what I'm going to say. If you are a man and you have mental health issues, you got to fucking deal with this shit your fucking self because nobody gives a shit. I'm just telling you the cold hard facts right now. Nobody gives a shit about you. I'm sorry. When I've had mental health issues, when I was fucked up when I was popping Zans and doing a line of coke to wake up every day and popping Zans to fall asleep and taking Adderall every single day just to keep me focused and having anxiety non-stop 24-7 nobody wanted to fucking help me because mental health issues are something that are ugly and it's gonna Force other people out of your life. So you have to fucking deal with this shit yourself. You got to stop having this fucking defeatist mentality. You got to stop identifying with your mental health issues and hoping that somebody will fucking help you because nobody's going to come fucking help you. 99% of these mental health issues we have are because of things we don't confront, things we don't take care of about ourselves. So we got to start taking care of that shit and we got to start dealing with these issues ourselves because nobody is going to fucking help you as a man. Nobody is going to fucking help you. Nobody wants to fucking hear your shit. And at the end of the day, they can't help you solve your issues. So fuck speaking up, man, the fuck up. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. This is my opinion and this is facts. So subscribe to my fucking channel and uh, leave a comment.